Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ethan. Uh, we released a pretty loaded uh, update two weeks ago, so let's take a look. First off, this update includes a few more single knob effects, including uh, a noise generator, a delay, an overdrive, and a bit crusher. So let's take a look at noise first. A noise uh, is just a simple white noise generator, uh, so we load it up to this effect right here. Uh, let's turn this knob up and see what happens. The second effect is a beat delay, so we'll turn the delay up and see what happens. The third effect is an overdrive. And the fourth effect is a bit crusher. You can turn the effects on and off with the click button on the knob uh, in the main performance page. When it's deactivated, the effect turns gray, and when it's activated, turns back to uh, full colors. You can still control the effect uh, parameters while it's turned off, like that. We also got two global effect channels uh, now that uh, applies effects to all the audios coming out of the project. So. Uh, these effects have multiple variables that can be controlled by up to four knobs. First one is a high low pass filter, so let's get that selected. The first knob controls the high pass filter and the second knob controls the low pass filter. You can cycle the effect rack that you're controlling on the main page with the CC5 button. So right now we're on group effects, click it once, we're on global effect one and click it again, we're on global effect two. So let's go to global effect one where we have the high low pass filter loaded. In the global effect, the first knob's click down button controls the on and off state for the entire effect. So we'll turn this effect on. The second global effect that we're putting out is a lo-fi tape effect. Uh, we're still kind of working on this, uh, but it's supposed to give you a little bit of uh, tape saturation just for that vintage feel uh, with just this one effect. Technically speaking, this is a combination of multiband compressor and a low pass filter and gain limiter at the end. The first knob here is a noise generator. Uh, the second knob is supposed to control the low pass filter, uh, but we're still tweaking on the curve of the low pass filter, so this is not currently activated. Uh, this has a fixed value for now. The third knob is a gain control, and the fourth knob is a limiter threshold control. So you can play with the third and fourth knob to get the amount of saturation that you want. So let's play the sample with the effect off and on to see the difference. The third effect is Isolator. This is kind of like a full cut EQ, uh, three band modeled kind of after the SP404 Isolator. The second, third, and fourth knob control the low, mid, and high filter gain, whereas the first knob adds a little bit of overdrive just uh, for a little more of that vintage effect. Let's see what that does. <laughs> So I have lo-fi tape activated on global one. We'll click the button again to global two. And we have the isolator activated on global two. So let's first hear uh, what it sounds like with all the parameters just set in the middle. So it doesn't do much, but we'll play around with the parameters now. You can still control the parameters with the beatbox hardware even when the effect is off. So you can do some sort of, uh, you know, your classic SP404 uh, performance like this. A 
Okay, so with the effect out of the way, with this update, we also opened up uh, ADSR envelope controls for samples. This is uh, the most apparent when you go to melodic mode in hold down. So let's do that right now. All right, so to control the ADSR uh, values, go to sampler, ADSR. So now the four knobs control the attack, decay, sustain, and release of the sample. Uh, first, let's hear the sample without any ADSR uh, parameters set. Uh, what should happen is as soon as I hit play, the sample will start playing immediately at full volume, and when I release, the sample will cut off immediately as well. Like that. Now let's go to Sampler, ADSR, to control the ADSR parameters. So now these four knobs control attack, decay, sustain, release of the sample. So we'll give it a little bit of a delayed attack, and maybe like a low release. Now when I play the sample, it should basically ramp up a little bit, and then as I release the sample, it should, instead of stopping immediately, have a little tail off. Uh, this function is really useful for creating uh, quick virtual instruments out of any samples. This feature is still, you know, again, needing a little bit of work. Uh, the basic framework seems to work uh, just fine, so we wanted to release this so you guys can mess around with this. Anyways, this is all we got for now. If you have any suggestions on changes or maybe future effects that we should include, let us know in the comments. Thanks!